Good morning. We are leaving our little beach hilltop campsite. Yeah. And we are going to head towards Panama City. We're going to see the Panama Canal today. Um, we got to upload a video, and so we're going to try and find a place to get some work done. And yeah, we actually had a local tell us that she goes, uh, they have local beer and really good Wi Fi at TGI Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go to TGI Fridays yeah. and sit on the canal, watch sailboats go past, and. Uh, even though we're on our dream trip, we're gonna sit there and dream about being on a sailboat one day going through, so it should be cool. Yeah, so uh, it was a really nice spot last night, actually. It, yeah. it was a cool view and you could hear the waves. It was really quiet and we weren't bothered, so it was nice. Uh, As we headed towards the Panama Canal, we listened to an audiobook about its history and construction called The Path Between the Seas. Yeah, we're nerds. Investors, security holders throughout France were organized into hundreds of committees. These supposedly an expression. over the Panama Canal and we are at the Miraflores Locks. So uh, we're at the visitor center right now. We'll see what we get to see or not see, <laughs> depending on how expensive everything is. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll check out as much as we can, that's for sure, even like just from the outside. Yeah. I don't know if it's like 20 bucks or 50 or 10 or five, so we're gonna go find out. But it's pretty awesome to actually be here. I've seen like documentaries and all that and mm -hmm. we're listening to a book on tape as we drive right now yeah. about the path between two seas. We made it inside, we weren't so cheap that we didn't come in. It was really neat to walk around this little museum and get a visual of everything we had been learning about in our book. Everything's probably been computer controlled, so if they notice something is an inch, half an inch higher than it should be, yeah. you can bump open the little. Uh... Unfortunately, it's really rainy and we can't see much. <laughs> yep, but we did get to see the Miraflores locks without rain. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now there, and the engineering one. Building a Panama rather than a Nicaragua has never been set forth publicly. Eventually, the rain did pass, so we could enjoy exploring the city in the sunshine. 
Panama City was very different from what I had pictured in my head, although I'm not sure exactly what I was picturing. Looking back at the skyline from the causeway, it reminded me of New York City. sort of found a camp spot. We spent all day wandering around looking for camp spots and um, we found a place that's hidden. I'll just block this on there. We found a place that's hidden but it's full of mosquitoes. Yeah, so that's our, that's our, you know, okay, no one will know we're camped here spot if that's what we need. But check out the view we have at this spot, which is our, let's hang out here at least until it's dark. Yeah, so I probably won't stay in this exact spot because uh, it might be, it's Friday night and probably people come up here to hang out at night, so we'll tuck away, you think? Yeah, it's one of those spots that I would come to if I were a high school kid or something, this is where you go to drink beer. It's looking at the Panama Canal, which is pretty rad, and it's a perfect little flat gravel spot. So uh, it's a good camp spot. And so if we don't see anything, maybe we'll stay right here, but we at least know we've got our other little spot to uh, run off to, so that's good. We did end up staying at this spot. The view was just too good. We watched the trains and boats pass by while we continued listening to our book. Later that same evening. All right, it's dark and I don't really want to turn on a light because there's so many bugs that will then be attracted to me, but uh, we're sitting here overlooking the Panama Canal at night and it is super neat to hear and see all of the boats going by, the huge ships going by, just like quietly floating along in the night. And um, as we were sitting up here, we saw a Defender drive by on, on the road below and maybe 30, 40 minutes later, he happened to pull up next to us and he goes, hey guys. And so it was uh, just a local guy that lives here and loves off-roading. Um, and so we ended up talking to him for, I don't know, a good hour. What do you think? Yeah, at least an hour. Yeah, so it was cool to talk to Alejandro. And he gave us some ideas for some camp spots, which we were excited about. Um, and it was just, uh, it's always nice to meet up with these random people that somehow we end up meeting. So that was really cool. Cool night after a long day of not being sure where to stay and uh, we were both pretty tired, but this has turned out to be cool. Sometimes my mind is blown by the views I get to enjoy with my morning coffee. This was one of those mornings. Sitting there, sipping my coffee, watching the world wake up. Some things just draw you in, and you can't help but be there, totally and completely there. Mesmerized by life. These are the moments that I am so excited I get to share with you. What are you doing, Tim? Checking everything. And I think our little sway bar bushings after... 20 whatever years, they have too much play, so that's what we're hearing, jiggling. I don't like any noises from underneath the truck, it should be nice and quiet, so um, at least I know what it is, and it's not important. Um, maybe at highway speed it's important, but, so the sway bar's still connected, but the bushings, not on the, not the rubber ones actually, on the truck side, which is what I would think would uh, die over time, it's the ones on the axle side of things. Uh, they just play, so it goes tick, 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 just a little bit, makes noise. So we're trying to decide if we pull the sway bar, or if we just deal with the noise, and fix it when we can. We decided to head out of the city for a night. Our new friend Alejandro had recommended an area that he liked to camp. So off we went. We did a little 
exploring of the area before settling into a campsite, and Goose even found some roads to remind us of just how flexible he is. When we did settle into camp for the night, it was a blustery mountaintop, so we tucked into the trees and enjoyed a nice sunset. Thanks for the recommendation, Pat. Uh, <laughs> shout out to mom. <laughs> TGI Fridays. TGI Fridays! Get your flare on, we're going. <laughs> How many pieces of flare do you have? As many as I can put on. Or uh, your lack of flare, because uh, I'm counting and I only see 15 pieces. <sighs> Of the nation with a couple of high pressure cells behind it.